Hi, welcome back to my channel, Karina here, and if you're new, welcome, welcome, I am Karina and I love to paper craft. And today is part two of the Summer Fun mini album. And in part one, I did the front and the back covers, embellish it, and the link of that video is in the description box below. And on part two today, we are going to do the inserts and also the insides um, covers as well. So let's start. So I'm using the Pick Me Up uh, Pink Paisley paper pad. And I selected a um, couple of sheets. So this is what I do. I selected um, based on pictures, my colors. And that's how I selected these um, pages. So, um, since these pages are not double sided, I have to glue them so I can place them in this album. So, this is going to be my front page. I think I got that. Page number two, page number three, three, four. Okay, so, so. I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to glue these pages. I'm using my uh, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. My right page, it's where I place a photo. Like I'm planning to put this photo here. And then my left side, this is where I do my journaling and do some die cuts. So now let's go back to the next page. And this is where another photo is going to go. And But you see how it picks a color. because That's why I love to use the collections. Because it um, makes everything cohesive. Place it up here. So here will go another photo. And this other one. It's the stripes, horizontal stripes. So it's nice to do mini albums and record your memories with pictures. The last page of the mini album. And why I'm not putting too many sheets? Because I'm going to be putting in between tags and acetate paper. So then, then the album is chunky. And we only have three months in summer, right? So, and there we go. So these are the pages. They're already glued. And how I start the process on putting and selecting die cuts and all that so these are my photos so i'm thinking to use this die cut because it's summer in the meantime since i have everything positioned i'm going to start gluing and just to give um more um more fun into this layer okay so we layer and now we're going to glue so i put um two staples with my mini attacher and we were going to put this banner banner is just too big so i'm just going to cut it here here i would love to put a bow so you see how it contrasts the color there we go here 
course later on I might be putting jammies so I'm just right now doing the process of layering all the papers with the embellishments so this is the first page this is going to be the, my journaling page um, and I am going to work first on the picture page it's going to be this one so it's a lot of hearts and for that I love these frames look at that I know it, it, it doesn't look like oh it's not going to go along but you will see the end result you see how we we gather all the materials and then we decided that oh we need more right so I'm gonna put this doily here just to give a soft effect on the picture look at that that and then I put here wonderful wonderful and a little flowers over here okay I'm gonna like I can use a connector later with jammies or things like that so just to connect the sentiment with the photo like that and then let's do again with a mini attacher attach this so okay now the journaling side so it's like a leaf but it's a shaker sticker and then over here I can um, I'm gonna come back later and probably stamp so we got the front page journaling page first photo page now let's do um, the second photo page so on this one I am going to put we went to a winery for our wedding anniversary so I am going to put this photo in on top of this frame it's not Friday night but we can use this tag here just to give more dimension and over here we need definitely we need something to catch the eye besides the I love it but we need probably this one so it goes along with the the frame yeah so maybe I'll do like this so we keep some color here like moving things around and I am going to use my mini attacher and staple the photo and then glue it all and this extraordinary I'm going to raise it up with my foams sticky foams and because he is extraordinary yes like that okay but to move along so now we're going to do the third layout which is flowers we went to this um, nursery uh, place in my area which is beautiful okay so now for that flower of course we have to have a flower right flower flower and this photo is getting kind of like lost in the space so I am going to probably frame it again and we don't have more frames but I do have frames that I use in the cover, which are these um, jelly bean frames. And let me see. Smile, life, hearts, ampersand, today. Let's do that today. So I can use these. And then big flower here there you go so it's like the flowers are coming out of the frame <laughs> so that's the effect that I want to create so I'm going to glue the frame real quick 
all the flowers are not coming out that's okay then I am going to put some flowers here so I have some color yeah so it doesn't look that funny and then we can put this little tag here and I can write down or flowers or something so put that there all right so kind of a little bit of contrast right um, kind of peachy very light flush color goes along with the frame here we have a flower die cut and we cover it so we get the concept right and in this side it's going to be the journaling and i'm thinking yes this will be the perfect card to journal so i'm going to be journaling here and i can put something more so since we are talking about flowers i can use and i put the flower here you might need something more but so everything is a process and we had our third photo layout now we're going to do this other photo layout this um we went with one of our best friends um to this uh, joe's crab shack we had a good time let's start so this will be my journaling car kind of looks will disappear on the color and let's do what else do we have here things the other stuff didn't work out okay so what i did i have some scraps um and i think this color will go along with the um watermelon journaling card so i decided just to make my own frame so i was thinking maybe i can put that one there that i love the flower and I can put a sentiment there so okay so uh, this is what I'm gonna do so I'm going to use my tiny attacher and attach this cluster and I am going to use my Tombow glue again photo like that very good and then I'm probably gonna put the flower here and then the journaling side I love these um, watermelon so I'm, I was just thinking oh I'm gonna put a doily and a watermelon so I can journal and I'm going to oh, this one is not sticking why is that didn't put enough glue okay all right so then we have this page um i don't have a photo yet so i might probably do a frame or something there like that and say cheese say something probably then put the picture when i get it so i can do that okay that's a good idea just like so i stapled that i know it doesn't disappear too much because i have this golden sequence and when i get my final photo i will put it over here so this will be like almost like the mat for the photo so i am gonna go ahead and glue it this part looks quite simple right now but you will see as i go and when i start um, you will look on my next episode and the final episode how um, everything will come up together so i'm going to put this sailboat here and watermelons because summer it's about eating tropical fruits sailing so do that and now the last page and I have to do the final page so for that one I am just going to do 
a compilation of tags, one here. So I can put here the date, stamp the date and all that. So I like that cluster. So I'm going to use my mini attacher again, attach that cluster and then glue it. And there you are. Okay, so that's the final one. So now I'm going to come back, place these um, pages in the album. Okay, so I did the insides. I put washi tape, um, golden stripes, use a Dear Lizzie paper. Also washi tape over here too, and the Dear Lizzie. Here I'm planning to put like a pocket, and I already um, punch hole the pages. I need to do the journaling, put some of the jammies, more journaling here, and so this is how the album looks like right now. And on part three, you're going to see the final touches on this mini album. I might be covering things and putting some charms. So again, if you like this video, please don't forget to give the thumbs up. Share this video with any of your friends and family. And don't forget to click that red button and subscribe. And see you on my next video. Bye.